Welcome to Kids Recall. In today's video, we'll be going through the 2012 animation family movie, Hotel Transylvania. It's time to recall. Let's get started. Turn on the subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we see that in 1895, after his wife Martha was killed by an angry human mob, Count Dracula commissions and builds a massive monsters-only hotel in Transylvania, in which he raises his daughter Mavis. The hotel also serves as a safe haven and getaway for the world's monsters from fear of human persecution. Famous monsters such as Frankenstein and his wife Eunice, Wayne and Wanda Werewolf, and their massive immediate family, Griffin the Invisible Man and Murray the Mummy often come to stay at the hotel. We see a little baby girl in a crib and there's a big shadow on this girl and it seems like it's going to hurt her, but it turns out to be her dad. He's Dracula and this girl is baby Dracula. We see this Dracula to be very protective of his daughter and loves her dearly, which is why he never takes her out. He then goes on to have a meeting with an engineer in order to help him build a big castle. He tells his little daughter a bedtime story in which he makes it abundantly clear that humans are the worst. He tells her to always stay away from them and the little baby Dracula gets scared when her father gets her out of there and sings her a song to cheer her up. The Dracula then goes on to teach his daughter to transform into other creatures as he teaches her how she could transform into a bat. She pulls it off and starts flying. His daughter's 118th birthday is approaching and he wants it to be a big day. He wants everything to be special about this day and that's why he has built that castle as well. The party is here and we see many monsters, which we have already seen in many movies already. We of course see Frankie, Wayne, and then Griffin, the Invisible as well. When all of these people are at the party, Dracula talks to them and as the conversation goes on, it turns towards humans and he tells the others that the humans are getting bigger now. He, however, tells them not to be scared or worried as no human could ever make it to the place where they are. He tells them that even if the humans try to get to them, he's going to have to go through a big graveyard. We then see Mavis Dracula is in a good mood and he comes to his daughter's room to take her to the party and introduce her to her guest. But Mavis doesn't seem to be in the mood. She goes on to say that she's 118 and she still has not been able to get out of the house. She then tells her father that she wants to go to paradise where her mom and dad met for the first time. Dracula is not happy about his daughter wanting to go out, but he now has no choice. She's already 118. He finally goes on to say yes, but tells her that she can't go far. He tells her to be careful of the humans, and when Dracula's other friends get to know that he has finally allowed his daughter to go out, all of them are shocked. However, Dracula cannot stop thinking about the trouble his daughter could get in so he goes on to follow her when she goes outside. She right away goes to the humans and tries to make friends with them. However, all the humans get together and attack her with fire, asking her to get out of there as she's a Dracula. Mavis, however, tells them that she's not there to harm them, she just wants to be friends with them. But they don't listen to her and keep on trying to finish her off. She then says that her father is right, humans are actually really bad. This is when we go on to learn that this was actually her father's plan. He's the one who sent all his people in the form of humans to try and scare his daughter so that she has a firm belief that all humans are bad and she would not want to go out either. That night when she gets back home, her father comes to her and pretends to feel bad for her and goes on to console her. She tells him that he's absolutely right, adding that the humans are actually the worst. She then goes on to say that she's never going to leave the castle. Dracula is happy as his plan has worked to perfection, and he then tells her to forget about what happened out there. He tells her that he's brought her a cake, adding she needs to come to the party right away. On the other hand, when he himself goes back to the party, he learns that amidst all of these monsters, a human has now snuck into the party. Turns out to be a boy named Johnny. Dracula asks him how in the world did he manage to get in here, and the boy says that he saw many humans who were on fire, but he thought they were just wearing costumes. He adds that he started following them and ended up at the party. Dracula then goes on to think that if anyone got to know that humans were on this party, they were going to lose their belief in him. Dracula tries to tell the boy to get out of there, but Johnny doesn't take him seriously. He still thinks that all of them are just wearing costumes and that they're not what they seem to be. He still thinks they're just humans. The boy tries to blend in and starts enjoying the party. However, after a while, he realizes that everything he sees around him is quite real and he's scared to death. He then starts trying to run out of there. Amidst all this, 
Mavis finally shows up at the party, and when Johnny is trying to get out of there, he ends up bumping into Mavis, and they like each other right away. Dracula, however, does not want his daughter to even interact with a human, so he tells him to leave right away. Johnny says that he's going to get out of there, but tells Dracula not to drink his blood. Dracula is sick of hearing this. He tells him that those are old myths from the years gone by and make it abundantly clear to him that Draculas do not drink human blood. When everyone asks Dracula who Johnny is, and he goes on to say that he's just a party planner, and then he takes Johnny towards the window to throw him out of there, but this is when Mavis shows up. Mavis asks where Johnny is going, and Dracula tells her that Johnny has a lot on his plate and he has to finish that. Dracula says that he's taking care of everything related to her party, adding that he brought Johnny for her. Hearing this, she becomes really happy. She's thrilled to have him over because she's never met people who are her age. Johnny then goes on to ask her age, and she tells him that she's 118. He's both shocked and scared. Dracula then asks Mavis to go away and enjoy, adding that they have a lot to do. After that, he takes Johnny to a secret path where he tells him to leave right away. However, whenever he opens the gate, he finds someone out there amongst his guests, starts shouting at him, saying, why is he not giving them privacy? When he opens another door, he finds his friend Griffin and Frankie, and they go on to tell Dracula that they're having a discussion about performance at the party and go on to include Johnny in the performance as well. When the song plays, Johnny says that it's really boring. He goes on to get a guitar from the stage and sings them a song with rock music. Everyone at the party goes wild with their weird dancing moves. Everyone at the party loves him, and then Frank picks Johnny up and asks him who he is. Dracula tells him that he's his cousin. After that, it's time for the games, but everyone is bored, and they don't seem to have any fun at all, as Dracula has chosen pretty boring games for the party. Johnny sees that everyone is bored, so he goes on to make them play different games, and everyone seems to have the fun of their lives. Johnny quickly becomes a hit to the monsters, but this worries Dracula, who is both jealous of Johnny's popularity and afraid that his friends will never return to the hotel if they found out about the lie. Dracula orders Johnny to leave, but he's brought back by Mavis, who is unaware of Johnny's real species and feud with her father. Johnny then takes Mavis to show her the sunrise. After being shown the beauty of sunrise by Johnny, Mavis is inspired to give humans another chance because she is a Dracula and she can be burnt by the sun, so he goes on to help her stay away from the sun's rays. When everyone at the party asks where Johnny is, Dracula lies to them, saying he had important work to do, so he had to leave. But this is exactly when Johnny falls through the roof right into Dracula's lap. Dracula is now angry and goes on to give him a piece of his mind. He then takes him to a hall where there's lots of tables. He tells Johnny that he has to arrange them all, and then he himself starts making the tables fly to freak out Johnny. But Johnny, on the other hand, starts enjoying it, and even sits on the tables as they fly here and there. Meanwhile, the hotel's chef, Quasimodo, with the help of his pet rat, Elsmeralda, learn that Johnny is a human and kidnap him to cook him. Dracula, who himself does not see Johnny as a threat and doesn't want to get killed and eaten, just like intervenes and magically freezes Quasimodo to keep him from telling anyone that Johnny's human. Dracula now knows that his own daughter likes him and she's happier than he's ever seen her in his company. He then takes Johnny to a room and goes on to show him a portrait. Johnny tells him that he can see a couple in that portrait and then remembers the stories he heard about that couple. He tells them that it is Martha along with her better half in that painting, and their house caught a fire, and that is how all of them were killed. Dracula now goes on to take off a curtain and tell him that he is the husband of that woman named Martha. He tells him that he used to live in the open, and this is when the humans got to know what they were Draculas, so they never accepted them and tried to kill them all. Martha is the one who sacrificed herself to save Mavis, and he then got out of there with his daughter, otherwise they would have burned him as well. He tells the boy that the humans still did not accept them. Johnny says that he's talking about the old times, but Dracula tells him that he's more than sure that humans are never going to accept them, as they think Dracula are nothing but monsters. Johnny realizes that he's wise and he's right. He thinks about it and comes to the conclusion that the humans are still not going to accept them because no one can see a monster and accept them right away. Johnny tells them that he's sorry for intruding to the party and promises him that he's going to leave because he now understands why Dracula is so overprotective of his daughter. 
He says that it's good that he's built him this hotel and now a castle to live there forever. Johnny then agrees to leave for good, but Drac notices that Mavis and Johnny's feelings for each other are real and persuades him to stay for the time being to avoid ruining Mavis's birthday. Drac and Johnny begin to bond and have fun together. The party goes well and all the other people present at the party go on to have a lot of fun. They sing and dance, play a lot of games before everything starts going south. The party is a great success the next night, and Mavis looks forward to opening a gift from Martha. However, when Johnny and Mavis share their first kiss, Dracula right away approaches them and, of course, goes on to overreact. And in his outburst, he inadvertently confesses to deceiving Mavis with the town. A still-frozen Quasimodo bursts in and Mr. Fly reveals from his frozen speech that Johnny is a human disguised by Dracula. The guests are shocked and outraged by the deceited play, but Mavis is undeterred and wants to be with Johnny. Johnny feigns uninterest in Mavis and rejects her out of respect for her father and leaves the hotel saying he is human and humans hate monsters. A heartbroken Mavis flies onto the roof with her mother's gift and Dracula follows her in hopes of comforting her. He learns the present is a book about how Dracula and Martha zinged and fell in love. Martha realizes he no longer knows humankind's true tolerance of monsters. After apologizing to the patrons, Dracula persuades Frank, Wayne, Griffin, and Murray to head out into the human world to help him find Johnny. And with the scent tracking ability of Wayne's daughter, Winnie, they learn that he's about to catch a flight back to the United States. The four head to the airport but are held up in a town celebrating a monster festival along the way. Frankenstein attempts to scare away the assembled crowd of humans with a loud roar, but instead receives wild applause and adoration. He then gets the humans to agree to help, and a team of men dressed as vampires provide Dracula shelter from the sunlight while he rushes to the airport. Dracula arrives to see Johnny's plane taking off, and he gives chase in bat form burning in the sunlight. After getting Johnny's attention, Dracula makes his way to the windshield of the plane and uses his mind control power on the pilot to help him apologize, stating that Mavis has grown up and can make her own decisions. Johnny accepts his apology, and Dracula manipulates the pilot into returning to the Transylvanian airport. Dracula returns Johnny to Mavis, announcing that he approves of Johnny, and Johnny confesses to Mavis that their zing was mutual, and the two kiss. The monsters finish celebrating Mavis's party, impressing the hotel guests, and with that, the movie comes to an end. Thanks for watching! Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.